a childlike AI savior or humanity's destruction? The creator asks a lot of questions, and not all of them are clear-cut. Here's how the ending of the creator affects the film's world. Spoilers ahead. Before we get to the finale of the creator, let's do a quick recap. The East and West are locked in a vicious war over AI. After being undercover in an Eastern Resistance Army, lead character Joshua heads back to the East for a new mission to help American forces find a new AI project from a mysterious guru known as Nirmata. When his team arrives at a lab holding the coveted AI, he finds that it's actually a simulant, a human-looking robot with AI programming that's a child. Joshua believes that this child, named Alfie, can lead him to his former wife Maya, so he takes Alfie on a journey to find her in the old rebellion he once betrayed. Along the way, Joshua learns that Maya is actually near Mata, and that the nuclear bomb that kicked off this whole war against AI was actually due to human error. It also turns out that Alfie was created to destroy the West's superweapon Nomad, but only to achieve peace, since the AI don't really want to kill the humans. As her journey continues, Joshua becomes closer to Alfie due to Maya's love in creating Alfie, and her being molded after Joshua and Maya's child. Unfortunately, by the time Joshua and Alfie reach Maya, she's in a coma, and they can now only cut her life support to set her free. They do so, but are captured by American forces and now must enact a new plan to destroy the Nomad. After reuniting and escaping American forces, Joshua and Alfie now find themselves looking to get onto a ship to a moon colony. Once on board, Alfie uses her technology-controlling abilities to pilot the ship towards the orbiting Nomad, which is priming missiles to fire at the remaining resistance bases. Their arrival on the Nomad spins everything into chaos, though, as Joshua is forced to go out into open space to put a bomb on the Nomad's missiles, and Alfie must make a mad dash to the control room. While there are tough obstacles they're forced to overcome, their plan ultimately works, and they're able to cause a chain reaction explosion on the Nomad. Unfortunately, their escape plans are upended by the interference of the American government, and Joshua is forced to stay behind while Alfie escapes via an escape pod. They share one last tearful interaction that sees them express their love for one another, and Joshua tells Alfie that he now gets to go to heaven because of their journey together. Although this would seem like a sad ending for this unlikely pairing, it ends up being joyous. Joshua is allowed one last goodbye to Maya, since Alfie put her brain data into a simulant that looked like her, and the two embrace before being consumed by the explosion. Alfie is seen celebrating with the revolutionaries and now knows her vision of peace can be achieved. One of the big overarching themes of the creator is the impact in people's perceptions of AI. While it was initially seen as a tool to help humans do menial tasks or even expand our own forms of entertainment to a degree, it eventually became something you either loved or loathed. After the unprovoked dropping of a nuclear bomb over Los Angeles occurred and killed thousands, the world became divided into two ideologies either that AI could live alongside people peacefully, or that it was going to make humanity extinct. This debate is a huge part of Joshua's personal arc, as he starts to see the AI entities around him in the same vein as Maya, that they're truly almost human. This debate will be something that real people will continue to have and delve deeper into as AI develops even further in the real world. AI has gotten better and better, and it feels like we're at that tipping point now. The creator instantly taps into these growing fears and concerns that many have about AI, and it's certainly becoming a bigger conversation as we see more AI programs being developed. Even the recent WGA and sag after strikes have been heavily influenced by the growing use of AI and its effects on people's livelihoods. The creator hits right at the heart of where AI stands in our society and makes us question whether we'll see it as an enemy or ally as we evolve. With Alfie and Joshua destroying Nomad, the entire tide of the war has changed. Throughout the war, the Nomad was a key way the West hoped to pummel the Eastern Resistance, since they didn't have to get many of their troops involved. Nomad could fire missiles from the high atmosphere that could easily cause massive destruction to rebel bases. The only thing keeping the West from outright defeating the East and killing their AI was Alfie, since she has the power to control any technology around her, including the Nomad. Execute her, or we go extinct. So when Alfie and Joshua finally blow the Nomad to smithereens, it essentially ensures the East the ability to win and for AI to live freely. Maya's vision for Alfie to lead the AI to their freedom and create peace around the world is now achievable. We may never know what exactly happens as a result of the war, but the destruction of Nomad certainly works in the favor of the East, and Alfie, Joshua, and Maya could easily be seen as tide-turners who allowed peace between AI and humans to prosper in this world. One of the more eye-opening moments of the creator is when Joshua learns what really caused the nuclear bomb to drop on LA. While the common belief is that an AI program dropped the bomb without cause, it was actually an error in the programming codes caused by humans. Given that the AI and simulants have been created by humans as well, it seems like the West and other human opposers should really be pointing the fingers at themselves. After all, AI wouldn't exist without humans creating it. 
Instead of questioning why we decided to create AI in the first place or have self-reflective moments of change, humanity, specifically the West, decided to put the blame squarely on AI and set out on a quest to destroy it that left the world hanging in the balance. So perhaps director Gareth Edwards is trying to create a cautionary message, showing that we need to take accountability for our actions if we want to make things better rather than finding something or someone to take the fall. Although most of the American soldiers and government figures hate AI due to past devastation, lingering fears, or personal trauma, there's a moment late in the film that highlights her hypocrisy. When Alfie is roaming the Nomad, she eventually gets into a room where various AI simulants can be seen standing around and covered in white fabric. It looks like an AI testing lab, and some of the subjects even look like Maya. So even though there's this unbridled hatred toward AI and plans for destruction, it seems like America is still toying around with the concept. The hypocrisy couldn't be clearer. It's even worse that Alfie found all of this on the Nomad, the weapon designed to wipe out the AI simulants in the Eastern Resistance. In reality, this probably shows that the West's plans were never to completely wipe out AI. Rather, they wanted to wipe out what the East had and then restart their own AI efforts with no opposition. The film being a globe-spanning war between the West and East isn't by accident, and it's likely inspired by the current tensions we have globally. It's no secret that there's some ideological conflicts between the West, namely the US and Western European countries, and the East, with countries like Russia, China, and North Korea being major standouts. These visions of communism versus democracy, as well as paranoia surrounding military power and signs of aggression are as timely as it gets. The creator certainly plays on those fears by having the focal point of its West versus East conflict be AI and the fears of what it can do. If AI technology continues to develop at a rapid pace, the fears of the film could easily start to be seen as a reflection of the already real tensions we're feeling. That's not to say the film is establishing some sort of fear-mongering or that it's predicting some sort of future conflict. It's just a movie, after all. But its ties to the tense atmosphere between Western and Eastern nations shouldn't be lost on audiences. The future's never looked better. Although the film doesn't delve too deep into the impact of the nuke being dropped into LA or the impact of the long years of war humanity has endured, there are some aspects that show the ripples of trauma these events have caused. When Joshua is cleaning the remaining rubble in LA, it's hard not to feel your heart sink. Even when Joshua is roaming through the East Territories, it's easy to feel how this war has ravaged and ripped apart people's livelihood, forcing them to constantly live in fear. The creator shows the impact of global war and is another instance of the film acting as a visual warning of what we're currently dealing with. There are emotional scars and irreversible destruction that all stemmed from these conflicts, and it's a swift reminder of how war and tragedy have wide ripples that affect everyone, even those not on the battlefield. One of the more interesting aspects to Joshua and Alfie's perspective together and the ending of their journey in the East is their perception of heaven. At first, Joshua gives Alfie the standard definition of heaven. Are you going to heaven? No. You gotta be a good person to go to heaven. His description surprisingly comforts Alfie, since she's not a person and she believes that Joshua isn't good. However, Alfie and Joshua end up reaching heaven on Earth, which is where Maya is resting and acts as a peaceful place for simulants, AI, and people to coexist peacefully. It's a setting that not only has interesting religious undertones with its Buddhist inspiration, but also alters Joshua and Alfie's perspective on how heaven can be achieved. This changes their beliefs about heaven being some fantastical place in the sky good people go to when they die, and they understand that a good place can be achieved on Earth. Maya's vision for Alfie to create a more peaceful world can be their real-life heaven, and by the end of the film, that's exactly what's set in motion. Although Maya and Joshua can't join her in this world, their efforts and assistance in her journey have helped her build this new heaven on Earth, and embodying the new meaning of the word she and Joshua come to understand. Now for the all-important question that needs to be asked. Is there a potential for a sequel for the creator to be made? In terms of the story, the film ends on a conclusive note, but it does have potential to continue. The next film could easily see Alfie lead the resistance to completely win the war, or further explore the world of peace she's trying to build on her own now. Obviously, the film's performance at the box office will heavily indicate if a sequel really comes to light, but it seems like, at least as far as director Gareth Edwards is concerned, the creator will stand alone. In an interview with Screen Rant, Edwards said that he had no plans at the moment to pen a sequel, and is more than satisfied by the film's conclusive ending. He said, I just want it to be this self-contained thing. If someone ever came up and said, we want a sequel, that'd be a really good problem to have, but it is not the plan. But since these decisions aren't always in the hands of, well, the creators, the Mox Office Hall will probably dictate whether audiences see more of this world or not. 